Hi, today we're making Greek pasticcio. It's the Greek version of lasagna. It's a delicious comfort food that everyone loves. We hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Here's a quick list of the ingredients that you will need. For recipe details and accurate measurements, please visit the link in the description. Begin by cooking your pasta till al dente in salted boiling water. It will take approximately 15 minutes. Meanwhile, proceed with the steps for preparation of the filling. Drain the cooked pasta and add to a bowl with some butter so that the pasta doesn't stick together. Cooking the pasta till al dente just means to cook till there's still some bite left without going completely soft. Heat butter in a deep, wide pan. Don't allow to go brown. When the butter is melted, saute the onion and garlic till translucent. If needed, a little bit of olive oil can be added to aid the process. Now we can add our minced beef. Stir and cook for 5 to 6 minutes. The liquids will be released from the minced meat. Allow these liquids to evaporate and the beef to change color. When the liquid has evaporated, add all the remaining ingredients, pepper and allspice. Salt. Chopped tomato and parsley. canned tomatoes or canned tomato sauce. Bottled apple juice. Traditionally, wine is used. Cook covered, stirring occasionally till all the liquid evaporates again. Allow to cool, set aside. Preheat the oven now to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 
fusing a European setting have the heating elements from both the top and the bottom turned on. Now we will prepare our bechamel sauce. In a small saucepan, melt butter. Add the flour. Stir quickly till all the flour is mixed through. Allow this roux to cook briefly without going brown. Add milk a little at a time. Stir to remove lumps. Use a whisk for this. The milk will be absorbed and the mixture will thicken. Add salt, pepper and nutmeg to suit your taste. Stir again till smooth. You can add a small amount of milk, little by little, if it seems too thick. Add enough milk to loosen the consistency. Now remove from heat. Stir in the eggs, yolks and cheese. Please note that the video clips of the cheese and egg being added is missing in this video. Stir till well incorporated and season again if needed. This is the consistency that you're looking for. Now our meat sauce has cooled down. Add the egg white and stir till you get a glossy mixture. These are the layers of our pasticcio. Lightly grease an oven proof dish with butter. Use a dish that is large enough to hold all the layers. Make the first layer with half of the cooked pasta. Sprinkle some cheese over this layer. Add one layer consisting of all the cooked mincemeat sauce. Add the remaining pasta. Sprinkle cheese over this layer too. Spread the bechamel sauce over the top to seal the dish. Sprinkle some more cheese over the top.
bake in a preheated oven on the lower rack. When the dish is put in, I like to turn off the top heating element so the cooking takes place from the bottom only. Bake for 30 minutes in total. For the last 7 minutes, I like to switch on the top element and turn off the bottom heating element. Watch carefully for the last few minutes. You want a nice golden top with the cheese melted and not burnt. The delicious Greek pastitio is ready. Loosely translated, pastitio means a mess. Well, this is definitely a delicious mess. We hope you enjoy the recipe and video. Thanks for watching.